I'm Holly Titchener, Adult Services Assistant at the Cyril West Side Library. I'm going to be talking to you today about one of my favorite novels, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Plath was a poet who struggled with mental illness her entire life and attempted suicide several times. Um, she was married to author Ted Hughes and their relationship was very turbulent. You, know, you can see that in, in all of her writing in her in The Bell Jar and her poetry um, as well. Uh, the Bell Jar is an autobiographical account of Plath herself and her life and her efforts to figure out her place in a 1950s America that just wasn't very friendly to anyone who, any woman who stepped outside the, the bounds of being a wife and mother. The main character of The Bell Jar is Esther Greenwood, um, and she is a young poet who, like Plath, struggled with mental illness. She wins an internship in a magazine in New York City, and her efforts to figure out where she fits in uh, lead to an increasing sense of paranoia and isolation. Esther feels like she's trapped inside an airless jar, a bell jar, and it distorts her perspective on the world, and it makes her feel like she can't connect with people outside of, of that jar. The novel chronicles her downward spiral and the self-evaluation and the relationships that, that she has that both help her and hurt her along the way. The Bell Jar is a fascinating critique of 1950s politics and gender roles, as well as a firsthand account of mental illness uh, with Esther and, and, like I said, Plath herself. It's not an emotionally easy read, but it's, it's well worth it. I mean, I've actually read the book several times, and I, I also recommend reading her poetry, and um, that gives you a deeper understanding of, of her and, um, you know, her life, her short life. But, like I said, that, that definitely helps. We have the bell jar in our collection here at the library, along with um, several biographies and books of her poetry. You're welcome to come in to any of our branches and check them out. Go to our website, spartanburglibraries.org, and you can put the book on hold. And thank you very much, and happy reading.